No, I seen these on Instagram and I was like, oh, I finally get asked to do this because nobody ever asked me before. <laughs> so the premise is we have like one point super basic, okay. two point a little more medium. These are a little weird, all right? But all right. they're fun. All right, so and your, and your goal is to get as many as you can before we get back to the locker room. Okay. All right, dive on in. All right, let's start with the one point. First thing you do when you enter a new hotel room, jump on the bed. Okay, three points are going here. Are there more wheels or doors in the world? There are more wheels in the world than doors, and I cannot, like, it's more wheels than doors. That's, yeah, like, I'm not even gonna explain that. What's the challenge you face that most people don't see? Um, just kind of dealing with everything with tennis and life, and yeah, I try not to show it when on cameras and stuff, but it's something we deal with. Um, two points. Wildest player party memory. I mean, I haven't gone to many player parties and I don't think I'm old enough to do anything wild. So. Right, right. <laughs> um, who was your first crush? Ooh, I don't even remember that. Um, oh, on my basketball team when I was 12. I'm not gonna say his name, Fair but enough. him, yeah. <laughs> um, fill in the blank is Blank is the most talkative player. Francis is the most talkative player on tour. Like, come on, that's not even. Not people have answered his Yeah, it's definitely Francis. I'm just gonna go for all the three points. First thought you had when you learned you had to do this on the golf cart. Be honest, you won't hurt our feelings. No, I seen these on Instagram, and I was like, oh, I finally get asked to do this because nobody ever asked me before. <laughs> I guess I'm not cool enough. Um, favorite account in the tennis Twitter universe could be a fellow player too. Probably Chris, is you, Chris Eubanks' Twitter. I mean, I'm not really on Twitter that much, so probably him, yeah. Cool. Um, we're almost there, oh my gosh. Okay, most embarrassing locker room moment, going to, into the wrong locker that wasn't mine, and sing the chorus of your favorite song. Oh my gosh, what's my favorite song right now? Um, <laughs> I, this is not, oh my God. I wanna feel your body on me. I don't even remember the chorus, but it's Cabin Fever by Jaden Smith. I'm getting put on the spot. Last question. Oh my God, we're here. Admit something, be brave. Oh my gosh, admit something, admit something. Ooh, I don't have anything to admit. I feel like I'm an open book. So. This yeah. is the best part of the media experience. <laughs> yes, right? definitely. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. That was fun. Admit something, be brave. I don't even think. Oh, I do have something I can admit. Oh yeah. Do, yeah, I All remembered. Right. Um, when Jess and I, uh, we went when we won Doha, I think what two weeks ago. Ninety percent of the conversations weren't about tennis, and also one of the points, she uh, thought it was the wrong side of the court. So she, I was serving Deuce, but she thought that I was serving Ad for some reason, and we somehow won the point. All so right. that's a good question. All right, what match was that? We gotta look oh, it up. Finals, finals. I hit an ace down the tee, and she told me after the point she thought my serve was out because she thought I was serving Ad instead of Deuce. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's wheels. <laughs>